I want to be Humphrey Bogart when I grow up. Model of leave the toilet seat up manliness. Wise crack sultan, cracked clockwise, inside a golden age, gone all copper, ever since the day his sound was silence. I want to be Bogart, so I can dicks steal the hearts of Hollywood dames, get a script option for a napkin deal by the Warners they work for, then whip McCord this smile into my first big screen shadowy love scene. Oh, yeah. I want to be Humphrey Bogart. Sam Spade, my collar, 1950s noir style. Soft gray fedora shading darker browns with stolen brass lines and resurrected nonsense. As bad a script was ever writ, I'll rip Murdoch with a smirk because the only thing you owe the public is a good performance. Yeah, I want to be Humphrey Bogart. So I can argue the finale of In a Lonely Place with Nicholas Ray. Red ink it so that I make out with Gloria Graham by the end. No tongue, but lots of lip. Lush and lipstick gray and all mine. Even if only seconds before the end. Yeah, I want to be Bogart so I can Bogart that joint. Lauren Bacall myself in Casablanca blues. Spill lines smooth as silk or black wine and just as uh, memorable. He is looking at you, kid. And when you're slapped, you'll take it and like it because at the end of it all, any sacrifice is worth it for a chance at immortality. Yeah. I want to be Humphrey Bogart. So that when all my Rick Blaines and Rock's Valentines are laid to big sleeps or optimized for high definition, when these bones of mine have brittled to dust and distant thoughts, the tweens of tomorrow's 3D reality screens might still find ways to illegally download my films <laughs> and watch them. And after hours and hours of imitation, spill lines smooth as silk or black wine and just as meaningful. Bogart's the shit, man! And Bogie's cool. And I want to be Humphrey Bogart when I grow up. Thank you. Uh, and I'll, do, I'll do one other quick one uh, about another uh, actor. It's one that I, I kind of like. It's called uh, Alan Thick. <laughs> <laughs> and actually, that's going to be the name of my next chapbook that I hope is coming out in December called Growing Pains. Not Alan Thick. That would be kind of weird. <laughs> so here's Alan Thick. It was so much simpler, all those Alan Fick ages ago, in the neon-clad 1980s, when you were as much my dad as Kirk, Tracy, and Jeremy's. The growing pains somehow seemed less broken bones and braces, all, all Nerf footballs drizzled with 8-bit regrets so easily reset. Yeah, back then, our family ties could make a full house fuller. But let's be honest, Michael Gross and Bob Saget, they never had anything on you. Thank you so much, guys.